Hi, this is Jeff Heaton. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to Merge Life, which is an algorithm that I created to evolve cellular automata using a genetic algorithm. Here you see one such cellular automation that was created by Merge Life. A cellular automation is basically a set of very simple rules that give very complicated emergent behavior. Here you can see a cellular type effect going on on the computer screen. It would take a lot of computer code to try to really produce this. However, I never thought of how to actually produce this particular effect. It was evolved and created from eight simple rules. Conway's Game of Life is perhaps the most famous cellular automation. Here we see Conway's Game of Life running inside of Merge Life expressed in these rules. However, many different cellular automata have been evolved through Merge Life. One of the most interesting effects that you can find in a cellular automation are spaceships. Some of the Merge Life rule sets that have been evolved exhibit many different spaceships. Here is a rule set that, where you can see spaceships abound. They're all over the place. Another common feature that is often sought in cellular automata are still life and oscillators. This particular rule set has quite a few of each. The oscillators you can see are the small circular things that rapidly pulsate between a couple of different states. Still life are some of the squares that you see that are simply no changes occur as they, uh, as they progress through the frames. A merge life rule is expressed as a hexadecimal string. As you can see, there are eight parts to this hexadecimal string. It looks like a GUID, but it actually has no relation to that. It does have the same number of digits. Each of these four hexadecimal groups are one of the sub-rules of the, of the merge life rule set. Cellular automata work by processing pixels on a grid. The pixel in the middle is the pixel that we want to determine what its new value should be. To determine its new value, we look at all neighboring cells around that pixel. Merge life works by using those four hexade or those eight hexadecimal uh, components of the entire string to determine which of eight corresponding key colors that pixel should move towards. The column in the far right gives a limit and a percent that shows how um, how far it sh each color should move or each pixel should move to the particular key color. I'll follow this up with another video that explains exactly how the merge life update rule actually functions. You can also read about merge life in the academic paper that was published on it in the Journal of Pro of genetic programming and evolvable machines from Springer. Some of the spaceships that evolve from merge life exhibit extremely complicated behavior. Here you can see spaceships that produce additional spaceships. Sometimes these are called guns. And these actually leave behind almost fire trail looking things. And very, very small spaceships are almost shot between the larger spaceships as they go through. This is an interesting rule set where there are blobs that emit many, many small spaceships. It's almost as if these blobs are shooting at each other. However, the, the spaceships, as they impact the blobs, really do no actual damage. However, this world eventually dies as the, as the blobs shrink in size and continue to emit spaceships. Eventually, this world will turn to just a green background and ceases to have any life. Merge Life does not really have a concept of a background color. Many of the automations that I showed you previously did have a pronounced background color, but this is not necessarily the case. It all depends on how the rule evolves. Some rule sets evolve not to produce spaceships, but to produce almost a membrane cellular looking um, construct. You can see some animation still going on through this and almost blood vessel looking um, structures that go between these cells. Some rules evolved produce spaceships that fly in very tight formation. 
This almost looks like ants scurrying about. There are many other interesting patterns that were evolved by merge life. A link to the Merge Life project is provided in the video description. You can see a complete gallery of some of the most interesting Merge Life rule sets that I've that I found so far. Any of these can be ran just by clicking them in your web browser. Everything's written in JavaScript. You can easily experiment with these and watch different automations that I've created. You can also open them up and see them in much larger uh, form, pause them, continue. All of this is written in JavaScript. It's contained on GitHub. There are also versions of this available for Java and Python. I may add others or if you would like to contribute one, uh, please have a look at the at the get hub repository also contained in the description for this. If you want to actually evolve rules of your own, this takes a lot more compute time. Um, I've, I've run it actually for many days and have over a, a thousand rule sets that it's found similar to what you see here. You can also find those on GitHub, but if you would like to actually run this, you can use the Evolve New Rules, which is contained on the website, and you can run it in JavaScript. Now, you have to tell it how many threads you want to use. It is multi-threaded um, JavaScript, so it will it will tax your CPU when you run this, but you can go ahead. I'll run it with, with four cores. You click this, and it begins evolving new rule sets for you. As it continues, It'll show you some information on the top genome that it's found. This is running a genetic algorithm. And you can also configure the what you're looking for. The paper has more information on this, and, and I will add additional information on this with the website. But you can determine in this configuration JSON really what you're looking for. Are you looking for spaceships? Are you looking for colors? And this will dictate how uh, which uh, which rule sets are more fit and therefore will be allowed to reproduce and survive. Now right now you're looking at a pretty boring merge life rule, this blue sort of spe speckly um, image. But if you let this run, it could probably take a half hour or so in the JavaScript version to actually evolve a fairly decent looking uh, automation. Probably within 10 minutes you would start to see something. The Java version of this is faster than the JavaScript version and can be run um, using many cores to to tax the computer. I, I even have examples in the paper of running this on AWS instances, Amazon Cloud, where I was able to use I think over 30 uh, CPU cores to very quickly come to some of the rules that I'm that I'm showing you here. Anyway, this is the Merge Life algorithm that I developed. You can read more about it at the at the website that I will give you a link to, and you can experiment with it just in JavaScript if you don't want to install anything, or you can look on GitHub and see some of the other uh, other options available for this. We also have a Docker image if you so desire. Again, this is Jeff Heaton. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to stay on top of other videos that I'm producing and things that I'm working on, please subscribe to my channel.